Guess where we are today? I'll give you a little hint. It's one of Nampa's hidden treasures. Let's explore what that is next. Hey, 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 Treasure Valley Dave here, and today we are at Lake Lowell. We're here at the Visitor Center over on the north side, and I just wanted to kind of walk around and show you the gentle beauty that's going on. Off to the south, you can see the south side of the lake, and there's several communities over there that some of them rise up a little bit higher, and you have fantastic views of the lake. And there's boat launches that, you know, every so often around the entire perimeter here. 17 square miles of lake over there. Look how calm that is. What can you do on that lake? You can fish, you can swim, you can jet ski, you can boat ski, you can have baptism down there. You got a body you need to get rid of. There's your place. You can do everything out here. And then off that way is a beautiful view of the entire valley. Very nice. Green. Can you believe we're in fall already? Some of the trees are just starting to take on that little hint of changing color. That's one of the things I really love about being up here in the Boise area is we do have four distinct seasons. Obviously winter's coming and winter's not that bad up here. It's very, very little snow and it melts right away. Spring is fabulous. Summer gets a little warm, but fall, this is what we live for right here. So when you get sick and tired of all this peacefulness, what are we gonna do? Let's say, let's go hit that walking trail and see what kind of fun we can have. Let's go. So here we are leaving the boat launch area and coming up to the visitor center. Let's go check it out. I gotta tell you, it's just so great out here. I mean, here we are in fall. It's uh, almost halfway through October already and we're up in the almost 80 degrees just a tiny little breeze just to keep things moving so incredibly peaceful it's just nature all around yeah i, I always had that dream of, i like to live on 100 acres and i could go out and do stuff whenever i wanted but now that i'm getting a little bit older why would I want to take care of that much stuff? I think I'd rather come to a nice place like this where somebody knows what they're doing is keeping it all up and keeping all the wildlife and the nature balanced the way it's supposed to be. And I can just come out here and enjoy it. Maybe I'll bring a sandwich next time. But look at this lake, just all over the place. Plenty of beauty and not crowded at all. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Why don't you guys come along with me when you come up here to check out the Treasure Valley. We'll come and check this place out ourselves. And I'll bring a sandwich for you too. And here we are at the Deer Flats National Wildlife Refuge. What a great little treasure this place is. You can go inside and we can't right now because they're closed, but they have all sorts of educational things for kids and adults too to learn about wildlife, birds, the animals that come around here, um, and all sorts of different things that you would find in the wild. Hence wildlife, right? So uh, yeah, let's check this place out some more. Come on. This is a piece of art that it's actually trash that they found around here. And they have uh, kids that come out here to pick up the trash. My daughter, Treasure Valley Kelly, she came out here too to pick up trash. It was for school, it wasn't for you know community service or anything. But uh, this is just some of the stuff that they found. It's amazing the things that people throw away. I mean, you can still get some good use out of that, am I right? But this place is great for so many reasons. Wow, so here we are at the East Boat Launch area of Lake Lowell. And it's just as beautiful as that wildlife area, just a little bit further to the west. So peaceful and quiet. So much room up here, um, not crowded at all. You can actually get out here and have fun with the family. I mean, so I understand too, that, you know, this is a reservoir, right? So we do get, it captures the water during the rainy season. And in the spring, 
this can come up quite a ways up to right where we're standing as a matter of fact but uh, obviously we're kind of towards the end of the season and things are are dwindling down a little bit but still we got tons of water here don't we that's got to be one of the things I really like about the Treasure Valley is we have so much water um, which also gives us our hydroelectric energy which gives us some of the lowest electric rates in the entire country so we are a high desert so we have low humidity here and I know many places in California are like that but if you've been contemplating you know North Carolina or Arkansas or Tennessee watch out for that humidity that humidity can be a bummer in the middle of the summer in the winter it's not so bad but this would be the place for you right here wow thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this walk around Lake Lowell I know we've seen it in the winter time and now we're seeing it in the early fall. I just wanted to share the beauty that Lake Lowell is all year round. And you know, we're literally only minutes from downtown Nampa and we're not far from anywhere in the entire Treasure Valley. I mean, you could be here in you know, 20 minutes or something like that. So this is a great place just to come relax, bring the family, let the stress just flow away. So if you've liked this video, please go ahead and share, like, subscribe, and Remember, Treasure Valley Dave, always looking forward to helping you get home. Wow, they put a lot of damn effort in this. See what it says? Yeah. <laughs> wah, wah, wah.